Yo, 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 yo. Hey guys, it's Ren Sibling here, and today we're playing some Team Fortress 2. First of all, um, every time I make a new gameplay commentary from now on, I'm going to show you at the start of a match what I'm going to be using, just so it's easier for you guys to know what I'm, the loadouts and stuff. So yeah, tell us what you think about that, if you like it, uh, yeah, well, I'm going to keep doing it from now on anyway. But anyway, playing as a scout on the CTF Turbine, and this is a really, really good map for this loadout because it's so flat. Anyway, talking about the baby faces blaster, this is a scattergun replacing the default. Um, how this works is you have your 40% more accurate, which is a really, really good thing because you can do quite a bit of damage if you're medium or far range because you're more accurate and the bullets don't spread as much. And on hit, you build up boost, and you can run up to double speed at maximum boost. As you see on the bottom right, just above my ammo, there's a little heading that says boost. The more you hit with any of your weapons, it doesn't have to be the baby faces blaster, it could be like whatever weapon you're using. When you hit them with um, their attack, even if it's from far away, your boost builds up, and as your boost gradually um, builds up, you go faster and faster, and you can move up to twice the speed of a scout, which is pretty ridiculous. I guess you can sort of compare it to the Islander, like with the Islander, every time you get heads, you move faster and stuff. Well, I guess you could compare the baby faces blaster to this. But anyway, now to talk about the downsides of the baby faces blaster. The downsides are that you do minus 30% damage when you use this weapon. But to be honest, this isn't really that noticeable because the bullets, the bullets in this new weapon are more accurate. So it really makes up for um, having the minus 30% damage on the baby faces blaster because you'll be hitting most of the time because the bullets won't spread as much. Also, um, when you start off, you have minus 35% of your movement speed as a scout. So, I don't know how fast you'll be, maybe like a demo or something. I don't know the exact statistics, I bet if you googled it, you'd be able to find out. I probably should have. But anyway, the major downside of this new weapon is that every time you jump, see that boost meter on the bottom right hand corner? Yeah, that resets and you go back to being a slow fat ass. So, it, you should only use your jumps as like a last resort if you're about to die. Like say if you're in fire and then on top of a ledge there's health like you saw earlier in this gameplay. I probably could have went up to that ledge and grabbed the health that I was expecting, you know, the spy not to get the freaking health pack off me. But anyway, now talking about this pistol, the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol. This is really good because it gives you plus 15% max health on wearer and you don't take fall damage. That's why Turbine is such a good map for this. Like it's so flat, these weapons go so well together in this map. Everything's so flat and you can easily just go down those massive ledges where you usually take fall damage but not if you have this pistol equipped. And to talk about the downsides of the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol. Also, pretty bizarre name, so I don't know why they really called it that. Anyway, um, the Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol, you have a minus 25% slower firing rate, but it's not really that noticeable. Don't you hate it when it happens, when you just miss the health? Anyway, um, and the major downside, in my opinion, is that you take 50% more fire damage when you have this equipped. So pretty much Pyro's just own you. That's why I'm also using the Candy Cane. This loadout is really, really well. With, goes really, really well with the Candy Cane. The two new weapons and the Candy Cane, they go really well together. Because what happens is Pyro's, they just own you. And you can just go up right right up to them, right at their face. Just hit them and then see a little health pack drops. You just get it. You're, not, you're no longer in fire. That's pretty good. I really recommend trying this loadout, especially on a map like Turbine or look for try find a, a um what's it called try find a map or server where it's just you know really flat and there's not really any places to jump up and you know yeah this is a really fun loadout. Also shout out to my mate Cameron who let me borrow his baby face blaster and pretty boy's pocket pistol because I did not own my own, <laughs> but I'll get my hands on some. Eventually, just you know, 
I don't really care at the moment. I just really want to get this video out for you guys. It would have been out sooner, but you know, I had trouble with fraps and stuff. Anyway, enough about that. Um, yeah. It doesn't really matter because the downside of a candy cane is you take more explosive damage, but having 140 health, it sort of evens it out, so you don't really take that much more damage, so it would just be like having 125 health, but that's only against demos and soldiers because it's explosive damage, not all attacks. Anyway, my question for you guys is, what do you think of the new scout weapons? I've sort of, you know, I've hesitated to ask questions to you guys because I'm afraid no one will comment. And then I'll be depressed. No, I'm joking. But yeah, that's my question to you guys. What do you guys think of the new scout weapons? Please don't be shy to comment. It could you could go really detailed in your comments or it could just be like they're, they're pretty good, eh? And yeah. So please leave a comment. Tell me what you think of these new weapons. And also, I hope you enjoyed like at the start of my videos from now on, I'm just going to be showing the loadouts that I'm going to be using for the match. Anyway, this map is CTF Turbine. I really, really highly recommend that you try out these new weapons on this map because they're so good. Like, it's so flat and basic, and there's not much slopes and stuff. It's, it's a really good scout map, in my opinion. It's funny because my first ever scout gameplay, I did it on this map as well. Because I really had no idea I was going to do another scout gameplay this soon on this map. But these weapons are really good on this map, so I recommend trying. Anyway, I've got the intelligence now. Look at how fast I'm going. Because I have full boost. I'm just I'm just unstoppable. Me and that pyro have a bit of an awkward moment. Anyway, we cap this intel. We got the crits, so I just own that soldier. Get in the hell. And you're probably wondering, it's like, why is everything cupcakes and stuff? That's because I have a balloonicorn protecting me. If you're watching a video and you might be wondering, like, on a kill feed on the top right corner, you'll be like, why does it say balloonicorn help? It's because he helped me, mate. <laughs> but yeah, that's a theme of the balloonicorn. Also works with um, Teddy Roosevelt and that other thing that helps you. What's it called? The Birdman of Aberdeen, that new demo thing. Anyway, this gameplay is coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed. So, please comment, tell me what you think of the new scout weapons. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace! LOL!